Yes, so good day and um, I should say welcome once again to Talk It Talk. It's always a pleasure being here. Now this video you would not see my face. And what I'll be talking about here is black inventions. Now what, I mean just not all is the black, black inventions because there is too much to mention. Okay, we are the people that invent everything. All what the people enjoying right now and they still hating us like ungrateful people. We invent everything for them. Okay. And I always look at it like we are a gift. We are a gift. We are the gift to this earth and its people in everything. Okay, we, we, we teach them to dance, we teach them music, we teach them everything. Everything we have to teach them, so you understand, we're doing that yet, they hate us. But um, if you recall, that's the same thing that happened to uh, Yahushua. When he came on the face of the earth, he did everything, he loved them, he healed them. They still crucified him. Okay, so we know that we are his people. So what I'll be doing here... I'll be talking about some black inventions. Now, actually, I had planned to do a video like this, okay? But then the video I would have done would have been like, um, I'll be talking about it and telling you about the people. But what happened, somebody sent me some a file today, okay? And when they sent me the file, they had all, this inv all the inventions and stuff like that in there okay and as they have it i decide well okay what i will do i will just make a video with it and then i'll just post it up so when i get more i'll make more videos about that because that is what i would do and stuff like that so as a person sending all those files to me i say okay you know what ah uh, i will just make a video and just post it up and share it up with you okay it's a nice way to do it so the first one as we can see here Thomas Edison Thomas Edison did not invent, invent the light bulb well I think a lot of people are aware of that because we know that um, he had an um, he had an assistant okay and this assistant name was Louis Latimer so he invented as you can see on the on the slide here, he invented the filament which lights the bulb. Without the filament, bulb can't give light. So basically, Louis Latimer invented the bulb. Basically, so as you see, the person put up put up there next to Mr. Thomas Edison. Hey, you are chief, and that is what they always do. They take even our culture. They take even our religion and they corrupt it anyway. So we have to sort it out. So trust me, those people have been robbing us from ever since. Everything we do, they rob it and make it theirs. Good. Now, so we know that the bulb that we're putting on to get lights and stuff like that, feel proud, my people, because it is our people who do it. You understand? This is not a, a, a hidden invention. It's just like the Holy Scriptures. It belongs to us and not them. People learn and know that. That is our book. Okay? Likewise, everything else. So coming up again, let me tell you what people invent, man. Have a good experience. Have all the time in the world. Right. So there we have it. I am the first person and the first African-American who invented the elevator. So, I am Alexander Miles, okay, Miles edit, um, invented the, the elevator, okay, so that is what happened, right, so he's a black man, so the same elevator going up the road with, you know, up and down, you know, stuff like that. When you're inside your tall buildings and people like it in the skyscraper, it is invented or it was invented by a black man. So he started the elevator and then people take it and do other thing. He do his patent everything, but you know what happened already? 
okay so we invented the elevator so most of the things that they enjoy right now we invented it but yet they hate us but we'll still show them love still because the most i say even pray for your enemies next thing we have this one here dr shirley jackson inventor of the touchstone phone called id and the fiber optic cable wow mama hey so you see right the touchstone phone we use that and we constantly using it fiber optic cable that is the real thing running right now for your internet and most of this kind of things right now black people does it black people did it our people did it okay now let us do again so bless up dr shirley Jack jackson okay now here we go again you see we just do thing here. meet daniel hale williams the first black cardiologist he performed the first successful open heart surgery and founded the first segregated the first non-segregated hospital right the first open heart heart surgery was done i think if i'm not wrong that's supposed to be in south africa okay if i am if i'm in error please let me know so you see we have a lot of heart surgeries taking place these days all kind of people doing it but our people are the first person actually who had the skills right who had the know-how you know who had the, the wisdom and the, the, the power to go inside that body and do that open heart surgery and stuff like that from our people now let us go again so did you know that spark plugs were invented by who by a black man named edmund berger okay so you, you they've been showing you the year right so it's like february the 2nd of february 1839 by a black man the spark plug everybody know what is spark plug your vehicle needs spark plug if you don't have spark plug you don't have no power you can't start it you don't move you're not going anywhere right so your spark plug is important so they enjoying that and there is a black man with a lot of beard he did it okay so feel happy about that okay so when people want to call your names and want to feel that they're better than you they are not better than you you come from a powerful nation remember you beat back a whole lot of sperm and be the champion you could do it in this world this world petty because the odds were against you fighting sperm we had people who came from who, when they bring us on slavery we spend months and months in the whole of a ship among feces and stuff and all, you, you survive is because your ancestors survived so that means you don't come from no jokey stock you pass through the fire and you survive so don't let people put you down and let us go again anna m mangin is african-american woman who invented pastry fuck fuck for pastries talk to me in 1891 so we fix these people and them as a matter of fact let me tell you this even in slavery when we when we were in slavery and then we used to our women used to be nursing them people children you see they nursing them people children i tell you nursing them you know so they hate us you understand they don't like us they don't want us but they want their children to to drink our women milk you understand hmm, yeah, imagine that so feel proud walk tall okay right and let us go down here then we have if you enjoy the internet thank an um, african-american named emmett mchenry mchenry created a complex computer code whereby ordinary people can now surf the web or have emails without studying computer science he created what we know today as dot com <laughs> tell me about it most black contributions to society are intentionally suppressed to perpetuate the myth of white racial superiority 
it's a psychological warfare program used for maintaining white dominance. Wake up, people. So, you see, the thing about it is this. I have a, a word I just say, shit does float. You understand? But then, I, de I do a number of videos in relation to why we appear to be at the bottom. It's because of what happened with us and our ancestors. So we are best to come at the bottom because we disobey our Elohim. But yet, we still are doing the things that our Elohim put us here to do. You understand? We are replenishing the earth. That is exactly what we are doing. With wisdom, inventions and everything, that is what we are doing. We are replenishing the earth and enjoying the fruits of our, of the, of our labor. You remember, but the scripture tells us that we will plant vine and we will not drink the wine. Ha ha ha! Who are we, people? You have to know that. The scripture tells you that if we disobey, we will marry a wife we will enjoy her. We will have children we wouldn't enjoy them. We would um, plant a garden. Right? We will grow grapes and we wouldn't enjoy the wine. We will build houses and we wouldn't live in it. So that is exactly what is happening, people. So according to the person here wake up so let's go again and then we have um the next time you relax and change the channel from across the room give thanks to dr joseph n jackson he invented the remote control ha 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 now check this out everybody want a remote on the face of the earth a remote to start the car a remote to open the car a remote to lock the car a remote to lock up the house a remote to do everything now we have remote Everybody want a remote. Ha! Huh. Who did it? Our people. A black man. You see he knows? Alright, and you see how that head looking there? Eh? Intelligence. Yeah, so big up yourself. Don't let nobody put you down. Let's go. And then, ha ha. Funny. And but this is real. Did you know that the real Lone Ranger was a black man named Bass Reeves? And yes, he did live among the Indians. The Lone Ranger could not be cast in that era as a black man. So he was made into a white man with a black mask. Now you know. Now. That is correct. Now look at it again. What the, the, the same white people did. They make a lot of people believe that ancient is, um, Egypt and Israel was white people anyway. They make movies with them. White. Well, you know, it's crazy already. I don't have to read and spell about that. Because everything these people do, you understand, is rob they robbing us. Okay? And that's what they do. As I say, they put you in slavery. Eventually, they have a certain a certain kind of people say they are the chosen people of our Elohim. They are the children of Jacob. No. They're taking your identity. This planet takes everything. They're just grabbing, grabbing. You just have to open your mouth and the teeth in it. So let's go again here. Dr. Walter McPhee the african-american mathematician and physicist who was the first to calculate the speed of the moon in 1946 ha i mean i just wonder if it wasn't for our people they beat us in slavery they do all kind of thing and they wasn't advancing anything it's after we came especially when we came from slavery and just around when we around the time we was coming out of slavery and everything like that then these people start to modernize you know? if wasn't for us these people were still living in caves all right so let's go again and then we have did you know otis boy king owned 26 patents the most famous being the pacemaker his invention is responsible for saving millions of lives daily right so when your heart break down they put this little machine inside your heart and it just pump in the heart you understand that is a pacemaker right so they give it they give it, give you how to kick start you know like you kick start a car then. and that pacemaker just going on a black man who invent that and he's saving a lot of people lives all over the face of the earth okay good so then here we go again and then we have my name is george crumb i invented potato chips ha just imagine black people invent potato chips Everybody eating potato chips, potato chips and KFC, po all kind of fall, potato chips. 
You understand? We invent that. We slice it nice. We put a little salt and a little this and a little that, and we invent that. And then eventually, everybody want to um want to eat it because it tastes nice and you know crispy and everything like that. So we on to that. Good. So we looking good. So let me give you a next piece with a few people on it again before I close up this video. I hope you could you'll be able to see that one but if you can't see that one I will read that one for you. You're supposed to be able to see it. So let me read this one for you just in case you miss it. You're not supposed to miss it but here we go. So this one here is like right so we have somebody who created the, the air condition unit right and then we have a guy named frederick m jones he was black who created the almanac you know the almanac that people use to plant stuff and right well we know who created it it is benjamin banneker he did it in 1791 the air condition unit was created in 1949 right then you have the auto cutoff switch Granville T. Woods, 1839. We have the auto fishing device, George Cook, Black, Baby Boggy, William H. Richardson, a whole lot of stuff. You could read it for yourself. The donor, the same donor people turn in, do and open everybody like that. A guy named Osborne Dossie, right? Dossie also created the do stop. If you want to beat your egg, William Johnson created that in 1884. Electric lamp bulb, Louis Latimer created in 1882. The elevator, well, we know the elevator, elevator with um, Alexander Miles, right? The fountain pen, everybody like a fountain pen. Walter B. Purvis, you understand? Gas mask, that was a very important invention, especially for World War I. Eh? It saves a, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of lives. In the first World War, Garrett Morgan created it in 1914 right the guitar was created by robert f fleming jr that was that was in 1886 the hand stamp keychain all those things were created by our people okay then you have what you call the the lubricating cup that is elijah mccoy that created in 1895 now the lubricating cup <coughs> I think that was created for um for for trains, you know. <clears throat> so while the train is moving now, that couple is constantly lubricating the um the moving parts and then because they had some problem with it, maybe they had to stop and put grease, whatever it is. But when this guy created his lubricating cup, it was easy. Train could move like na move real nice and normal, you know. So we big up on that. So we know George Washington Carver um invented peanut butter because he was this gardener anyway he studied in the university thing and then he was like a real agriculturist and stuff like that okay so the straightening comb madam cj walker created it in 1905 the stethoscope thomas a carrington 1876 i mean like all this thing the rolling pin i think you know what is a rolling pin you use rolling pin to um to, to roll your dough when you're making pastries and stuff that was invented by John W. Reed. The pencil sharpener was created by John L. Love in 1897. You see, so there is a lot of thing that was created that is created by. Uh, as a matter of fact, the fire extinguisher was created by Thomas Marshall. If you really look at it, we created everything these people are using. You know? The insect destroyer gun, you know, kind of fleet gun they used to buy and you're sprinting. We created that. All about C. Richardson. It's not about having money and stuff like that, you know, but it's your contribution to the to humanity. Right? So we iron in boot. Everybody like to iron the clothes. Sarah Boone, that 1887. Black woman do that. You know? I mean the blood plasma bag again. That was created by Charles Jew in 1945, and this thing is, watch, you must have that in this hospital, in the hospital, and okay, that is that 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 is important, right? So a lot of things like the.
folding bed, folding chair and stuff like that. All those things were created by black people. So my people, don't forget, you are from a proud nation. I'm not talking about false pride and the pride that does lead to, lead to foolishness. I'm talking about real pride. You understand? Right? The pride of knowing that you are a member of our Elohim um, community. Okay? This kind of pride, this pride with this humility. So you are from a particular race that actually are blessed by the by our Elohim. But what happened with us now? We do stuff and then we find ourselves in problem with our Elohim and um, we find our, get ourselves in slavery. Okay? So I hope that at least that give you who might be watch who might watch that video a little indication as to who we are as a people okay i hope that actually makes you feel really good about yourself so give thanks and praises to the most i or elohim be peace be peaceful and be blessed love your brother love your sister Pray for your brother, pray for your sister. Stretch out a helping hand to your sister and your brother. Because that's the only way we can survive as a people. Be at peace. See you in another video. For the person who sent me those files, thanks a great deal. And I appreciate it a lot. I can't say your name because I don't know if you want your name to be said. But thanks anyway. Peace.